The landing of the first Qantas A380 Airbus is an historic moment for Qantas Airlines. Its double deck and wide body make this super jumbo the largest passenger airliner in the world. Fitting then that the pilot was Captain Peter Probert. His father flew the first jumbo jet into Australia nearly 40 years ago. This is a, you know, it's a, a, anybody's dream to be able to go to work but not call it work. Yeah. It's just you get up in the morning and you want to go and get in, this, get in an aeroplane and go for a fly, especially the 380. The Airbus is state-of-the-art in every way. Its interior design and fit-out was a massive six-year project. It is. I mean, it's. Um, I'm, we're all incredibly proud of it because it's the you know it's the best it's it's the best cabin environment that you know that flying in the, in in the air today. Yeah. And, and it's not just me that saying that. I mean, it's it's. I think it's the, the sort of general consensus from everyone that's been on board, from people at Airbus to you know all of the suppliers that work for all of the different airline companies in the world. Good. What do you think? It's great. It's great. Kick. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of many layers of information which are within the various uh, drop-down menus. The interface we use with a with a cursor and like a computer, okay. uh, and the enhanced safety features, which allow us to make sure that um, the aeroplanes off, uh, operate even safer than it was before. Qantas's first A380 has touched down in Sydney after flying in through cloudy skies this morning. Hundreds of spectators applauded as the double-decker descended through the clouds towards Sydney Airport on its delivery flight from France. A crew of 80 people were on board the Super Jumbo named Nancy Bird Walton after the pioneer Australian aviatrix. This is an absolutely outstanding aeroplane and the more time you spend on it, you find there's a tremendous amount of innovation going into this aircraft and a lot of thought by the designer, the interior designer, Mark Newson from Qantas. Um, and I think, I think passengers are really going to notice a difference with this aircraft. The arrival of the airline's first A380 comes after a two-year delay with Qantas ordering 20 more of the big jets. Not since the introduction of the Boeing 747 30 years ago has there been such an historic event for Qantas. Qantas has taken delivery of its first A380 Super Jumbo as an aircraft it describes as the perfect plane. After a production delay of nearly two years, the modern double-decker airliner was handed over to Qantas at a ceremony in the French city of Toulouse. The Super Jumbo, which has all the luxury trappings, also leaves a smaller carbon footprint using up to 25 per cent less fuel than other aircraft. It adds a level of comfort that uh, I don't think we've seen with any other aircraft because it has that extra space and you can be very innovative in your design and I think we have been. I mean, in every class, in the four classes, they've all got something special. Obviously, uh, uh, first class is absolutely special. Jumbo is now the biggest flying kangaroo in the Qantas fleet will touch down in Sydney tomorrow after completing its maiden voyage to Australia from France. First of 20 super jumbos Qantas will put into service over the next five years. And Qantas management is denying allegations an engineer was pressured to alter a safety report. In a complaint obtained by Fairfax Papers, the engineer claims to have been told by senior management to alter a report which stated a crack in a plane had been painted over. It's alleged the original version of the engineer's report regarding the crack in the Boeing 747-400's frame was later altered to remove the painted over reference entirely. It's claimed the report was altered to avoid criticism of the airline's push to have maintenance conducted overseas. The airline's head of engineering has dismissed the claims.